back in 1982. He also holds the Olympic record, set that in Moscow in 80. And the American record is held by Janet Evans of the USA. There's Janet. You know, Janet at the preliminaries looked a little bit scared. In fact, she doesn't look like she's strutting her stuff right now. Although I was surprised she was looking a little intimidated in the preliminaries, she went out and swam like a champion. So I'm hoping that this is not indicative of what we're going to see in the water. She's a very poised young woman in the pool. She knows what to do. In fact, she says she backed off in the preliminaries on her last two strokes. So we've got a lot more to see out of her. And here is the reigning world champion in this event, Kathleen Nord, 22 years old from East Germany. Deutschland Demokratik Republik, there on her t-shirt. You know, the East Germans are a very intimidating force because they don't go out of their way to express their personality. They've got it, and you've got to scratch beneath the surface to find it. But on top, they're party line animals, if you know what I mean. And they are swimming pools in that water they go hard at every practice everybody stood around and couldn't believe how hard the East Germans were training just before the race but they know how to do it they have dominated women's swimming since they came on the scene in the 70s the race four minutes and 40 some odd seconds it's an endurance event using different strokes therefore different muscle groups it's a very exhausting event the last time American women swam against the East German women was in 76 in Montreal that in the Olympics we have a false start. And in that year, in 1976, the East Germans won 10 of 12 gold medals. We won just one. The Soviet women won one. To explain the start of the race, the official, in this case, Russ White from Houston, has got to make sure they're all totally stationary. And then as he begins to squeeze the trigger, you saw the strobe at the foot of the official's platform there. He notices that somebody indeed was moving. So he pulls it a second time. We hear double beepers, and everyone gets out of the water and starts again. This is Russ White out of Texas. He's, he is a fabulous starter because he takes time to learn about the swimmers and his events. And so he knows who anticipates the gun. He knows how they, you know, sort of do their little moves. One move is putting one hand on the block and the other one sort of having it creeping forward. So you've got some momentum, but it's concealed from the official. He watches the swimmers and knows what to expect. So Proctor from Australia in lane one, Unger from East Germany lane two, Evans of the USA lane three, Lung the fastest qualifier in lane four, counting down from the top of your screen, and Kathleen Nord in lane five, the field rounded out by Clatworthy, Dendebarova, and Lynn Lee. Boy, that looked like somebody was rolling a bit up in lane two. But it's a good home. start, and Janet Evans swimming three down from the top, swimming just off the lead that is now held by the 16-year-old from East Germany, Daniela Unger, at the top of your screen in the white cap. This is the event Tracy Calkins won by 10 seconds in Los Angeles. Because there's four different strokes, the lead could change according to the different swimmer's strengths. Donna Deverona won this in Tokyo. The butterfly is the first 100 meters, two lengths of that stroke. Then they go to the backstroke, to the breaststroke, and to the freestyle. It should be pointed out that Janet Evans, who's swimming third now in lane three, is best at the final two strokes. The breast and the freestyle. Know that you can expect these Germans to be going out well in the uh, butterfly. Fortunately for the United States, Janet Evans' best strokes are towards the end of the race, and her endurance plays double. Kathleen Nord of East Germany swimming in lane five, coming up nicely now, and Kathleen Nord is going to take it to the wall after the first hundred meters as they conclude the fly portion, and now they go to the backstroke. So Naomi Lund from Romania has got a good backstroke. They're slower than world record pace at this point, but Evans' endurance may help the end of the race. Janet Evans is contending for the lead. She in the black cap there, and Janet talked to us before the race about her strategy in the 400 IM. Well, I don't really know her splits yet because I've never swum against her, so I'm going to look at her splits and probably just mostly try to move on the breaststroke freestyle because that's what I went easy on today, and uh, that's what I want to move and get her, catch up with her. And right now, Janet Evans of the USA has taken the lead as they're through 150 meters. They come to the second 50-meter length of the backstroke. Challenging Janet Evans is Naomi Long of Romania. That is Evans in front, though, the American record holder and the holder of three other world records in swimming. Look at that concentration on her face, a little half turn to the left. She can see Lung from Romania. She knows where the uh, competitor is. Romania's got a better backstroke, but it's not catching Evans. Evans is definitely on her way for gold. Janet Evans with her two best strokes coming up. When they go to the wall this time, they'll come out in the breast stroke. 100 meters of that, then they go to the freestyle, her very best stroke. 
They're slower than world record splits, but now Janet Evans has taken about a second and a half lead over the East German who led earlier, Daniela Unger. Now, they may be slower than record, but not by much. Tenths of a second, and Evans' best part is still to come, the freestyle. She looks strong. She looks really good. Remember, being smaller, she just keeps it going, keeps that turnover moving. Those are the four strokes. Uh, Janet Evans was one second faster in the backstroke leg than she was yesterday in qualifying. So right now, Janet Evans comes up to the first 50 meters of the breaststroke. She'll take it back in with a breaststroke, and then they go to the freestyle. Janet Evans of the USA is still in the lead. Naomi Long is swimming second. She is about one second behind, as you see. Janet Evans with a full body length lead over Naomi Long is swimming in lane four from Romania. You know, Janet's the first to say, if I get to the wall first at the breaststroke, ain't nobody going to catch her. Now, John, we have a contender coming up near the bottom of the screen, Elena Dendabarova from the Soviet Union. He is coming up in the yellow cap. At the moment, it is Janet Evans with Denda Bernova now challenging Naomi Lung for second place. This is the final of the women's 400-meter individual medley. When they conclude this length of the pool, they go to 100 meters of freestyle, and that will be it for the medals. Now Janet Evans comes to the wall and goes to her specialty. It's freestyle all the way home. They're a little bit slower than world record pace, but if she can bring it home in a minute and two seconds, that American cheering squad's going to have something really to yell about. Give you an idea how fast Janet is swimming today. She's two seconds faster in the breaststroke leg than she was in the qualifiers yesterday. Janet Evans now with about 75 meters to swim. Taking it to the final turn at a 6'17 year old Janet Evans, 101 pounds, who's got to stoke herself with food all day to keep that body weight up to 101. Evans with a substantial lead, and now they come to the final 50 meters. The moment of truth for little Janet Evans. Could she do it? She's Could got she it. take on the East German? She could indeed. But it's going to be a fight to the wall. Contending heavily now in lane four is Naomi Long, who is the fastest qualifier. Here comes Denda Barova, swimming very well from the Soviet Union in lane seven. Janet Evans fighting to hold on. She now has 15 meters to swim. She now has 20 meters to swim. And now they're coming to the wall, and Janet Evans getting close. She's going to win gold. Janet Evans of the USA wins gold in the 400-meter individual medley. The second-place finisher was Naomi Long of Romania. The third-place finisher, the 16-year-old from East Germany, Daniela Unger. Fourth place finisher was Denda Barova of the Soviet Union. It was a new American record, but more important than all, they were racing, not against the clock, against each other. And Janet Evans holds up the form chart projected for her coming in at age 17 in her first Olympic final. Janet Evans wins gold, and she's a long way from done in this biggest meet of all. Absolutely no question from the end of the breaststroke, this was Janet Evans' race. You see her full body length lead, you see her trademark windmill stroke, and now instead of looking back, you saw her glimpse forward to the finish line. This is, this is the culmination of an awful lot of pressure, an awful lot of attention. Americans, first gold medal with a new American record. So the USA, with its first gold of the day, and shortly Matt Biondi will be swimming for one in the 200-meter freestyle. Janet Evans with a new American record, but more importantly, Janet Evans with goal. Long is second, Unger is third. Then the Barova of the Soviet Union was fourth. Now for John Neighbor, this is Don Cricky at Olympic Swimming. This NBC Sports presentation of the Games of the 24th Olympiad is brought to you by Hyundai, proud sponsor of the 1988 Summer Olympic Games. By FTD. The feeling never ends with flowers from your FTD florist. By Kodakolor Gold Film. Show your true colors on Kodakolor Gold Film, the official film of the 1988 Olympic Games. And by Wear Dated Carpet by Monsanto. With stain protection locked in before the carpet's a carpet. Back in Seoul, we've just watched Janet Evans mine some gold in the 400-meter individual medley, the weakest of the uh, three events that she'll contest here in Seoul, are generally considered as such. Let's go on over the Olympic indoor swimming pool and John Neighbor. John? Thanks, you, Brian. We got the first American gold medalist right here. Janet Evans, congratulations, a new American record. 
I don't really, it didn't really matter about the time today, just the medal, and I'm really ecstatic. I don't really know what to say. I'm just <laughs> happy. Well, certainly, I feel your pulse in your back. You're absolutely exhausted, as you said. Was this race as hard as you thought? No, it really wasn't. It really went by fast. My main goal was when they were on the breaststroke, I wanted to be even with them because I knew I could bring it home the freestyle harder. But I was ahead, so it really wasn't that hard. At what point in the race did you feel confident you could win it? Second lap of backstroke. I knew it because I, I figured that, you know, their breaststroke, they might catch me a little, but I'd still be a little ahead, and I knew I could bring it home on a freestyle. You say you're not intimidated by the communist athletes. Why not? Because they're just ordinary people, and I train just as hard as them, and I don't see why I should be intimidated by them. Well, you got two more events to get ready for. Congratulations and good luck. Thanks. Bryant? Okay, John Neighbor, thanks very much. Janet Evans coming up gold in the 400-meter IM.